Have you ever heard a silent song? And if you did, how would you even know? Hey friends, welcome to Vinylize. I am Jarrett New, and today we're gonna to talk about John Cage's 433, the most famous silent song in music history. But before we get to that, I just wanna let you guys know that today's song of the day is Magic Carpet Ride by Steppenwolf. And if you have a suggestion for a song of the day, post it below and you might see it in a future video. All right, now let's get back to the silent song. So the track was composed in 1952 and it was called 433 because it was exactly four minutes and 33 seconds long. And the guy who created it was named John Cage, an American composer and music theorist who lived from 1912 to 1992. And he's not related to this guy. Now, a second ago, I said that 433 was the most famous silent song. And that's because there were, in fact, a few others that came before it. So being that I'm terrible at pronouncing names, but I still want to give credit to these guys, here's a list of early composers who all used silence for dramatic or comedic effect in their musical works. And here's a list of musicians who made silent songs after John Cage. So Cage was like the original hipster. He did it before it was cool. And although he performed many other pieces of music throughout his life, 433 was his most memorable work. Now, how do you perform a silent song? Well, like this. Pretty weird, huh? Also, check out this comment. This is the first song I learned on the piano because I have no piano. Now, just for fun, let's check out a couple of other covers, like this one. Or this one. Or this one. Or this drum cover. or this death metal cover with a very lively intro. <laughs> and finally, even a cat performing it. So clearly, this is a pretty popular tune. Also, for all you musicians watching, if you want to perform it yourself at home, here's the sheet music. And if you can't read music, here's an even simpler one. Now, like I said, being that this song is so popular, you've probably already heard it on the radio. If your radio was turned off. But seriously, getting back to John Cage, he once famously said that everything we do is music. And in order to make that point clear, he created 433. So basically, this piece of music, if you could call it that, wasn't really about musical notes or pitch, timbre, melody, or even sound. But more importantly, it was about being focused on the present moment, and also about being aware of the sounds that already surround us on a daily basis. Now, funny enough, John Cage also made a sequel to the song in 1962 called 433, number two, also known as zero minutes, zero seconds, because the performer determines how long the song should be, or if it's silent, mostly silent, noisy, or loud. You just can't make this stuff up. Also, even crazier than that, in 2002, musician Mike Batt from the UK got accused of plagiarism and was actually sued by John Cage's publishers because he had placed a silent track called a One Minute Silence classical version on his album Classical Graffiti by his band The Planets. He had credited both himself and John Cage in that silent piece, and the publishers weren't happy with that. So they sued him, and funny enough, they actually won, and Mike Batt had to pay an undisclosed six-figure settlement. So I guess you really can 
copyright silence. Crazy. Now, even though he lost the case, you gotta give Mike some credit because right before the trial, he did say this, and I quote, Mine is a much better silent piece. I have been able to say in one minute what Cage could only say in four minutes and 33 seconds. Now finally, let's hear what John Cage himself has to say about what constitutes music. When I hear what we call music, sound is acting. And I love the activity of sound. What it does is it gets louder and quieter and it gets higher and lower and it gets longer and shorter. It does all those things which I've, I'm completely satisfied with that. I don't need sound to talk to me. Pretty interesting stuff. Now, what do you guys think about all this silent music business? Let us all know down in the comments below. And if you love music in general, please subscribe and smack that little notification bell so you won't miss the new videos. And most importantly, friends, have an awesome day and keep spinning that vinyl.